answer that you're satisfied with? No, ma'am. I sure didn't. Uh, I actually, what was funny was, I got here about 12, 12, 15, and I sat in line, and we were sitting there, and what they were doing was, we saw people with acorn shirts on, and SEIU, and they were all sitting there and getting all these people, and I saw this woman in front of me, and she, I mean, she looked like a hippie. I, I She just did, and I just, me and hippies don't get along, but, so she was sitting there, and she calls on her phone. She's like, hey, where are you guys at? You need to get up here. You need to get up here. And then she's like, all right, I'll see you in a little bit. And then two buses, two school buses of people came in, coming off the bus shouting, when, we, when, what do we want health care? When do we want it now? And they just kept going and going and going. When you talk about bus to people, was, did it seem like there, was, there were organized groups that were there? Or did it seem like there was constituents that just had sort of uh, almost carpooled to go to this town hall meeting? Um, they were actually two school buses and one van that was also like a school bus van. And they were full of people, what we were hearing was from Pittsburgh, and they all had red shirts on and were affiliated with the SCIU or ACORN. And they were just heckling us, and they were way farther away than you know, where we came from around here. They had real professional signs, and... Um, I talked to a couple of them on the bus that were younger and they weren't afraid to like tell us stuff and they said that they didn't pay for the buses and they didn't know who paid for the buses, they just came down with all of them. So I don't know who was um, paying to bring them in, but it's kind of disgusting when they say that our side is astroturfing when it was clearly the other side was doing something that resembled it very, you know, well. Let me just shoot video of it. Well, I shot video of it because I thought it was awfully ironic that um, the media was accusing us, regular citizens, of organizing and busing ourselves in to the uh, town halls in order to protest and, and voice our opinions. And when I saw the yellow school buses coming up the way, I knew that uh, this was probably going to be important. So I started filming, and sure enough, I suspected ACORN and, and union uh, representatives were being brought in, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Craig, how do you know that, this was, that these were uh, ACORN members and union representatives? Uh, well, because they were wearing their ACORN buttons for number one, and uh, just openly carrying uh, signs and basically stating, we're ACORN. And they had SEIU shirts and stuff as well. <clears throat> Grip Jenkins was at the Specter Town Hall meeting. He joins us now live to talk about it. Now, Grip, what we're talking about is that if Acorn did organize and have people there, nothing illegal about that. The only problem is it might be a little bit of hypocrisy if it's what they're accusing the other side of doing. Well, that's right. I mean, let's point out, first of all, uh, Acorn, the national office, did confirm to Fox News that they had bust people in today. We made that phone call. And you're right. There's nothing illegal with that. It's a free country. They brought in people from Pittsburgh. Those are Pennsylvanians. Mm -hmm. But here's what happened here, Shannon. The, the couple you saw there, the Rigsby's, she's a 20-year veteran. She's never been politically active one way or the other her whole life. And she started a little tea party. She won Washington to hear her voice. She feels that there's a disconnect. She's upset about the direction things are going in the country. She feels like the deficit spending is out of control, and she wanted to be heard. Now, what happened in the case of the containing uh, town hall that we saw there, only 200 people were let in, and over 1,000 showed up in the parking lot. So 80% didn't get in, and they saw these acorn buses pull up and people get off that were clearly not part of Armstrong County, which is a heavily conservative county. Over 61% voted for McCain in the 2008 election. And they feel displaced. They feel that they didn't get their opportunity to, you know, tell Senator Specter, hey, we're upset about this and we want, you know, to take this message back to Washington. Interestingly enough, you know, when the White House is saying that there's manufactured anger, mm -hmm. you lose uh, the, the real important parts. Like, I'll tell you, I went to two of the four town halls that Senator Specter did last week, and there was a young man that stood up. He was probably 22. He was in medical school. He said, Senator, I'm halfway through. I've got $250,000 in debt. Wow. What is my incentive? I'm scared of this bill. And, you know, that's lost. That's not manufactured. That's unorganized. And that message is being lost. But uh, the folks in Catanning, and you saw the four that we showed just there. They're upset that uh, uh, Acorn would come into their community and
take over. And was there something about pamphlets or questions that Acorn was distributing or telling people what the people on their side should be asking, what questions to ask, how to do it? Was there some kind of form what, what, what we heard from witnesses, and I didn't see the questions, but there were uh, pamphlets being given out apparently by Acorn folks to some of the attendees uh, to ask certain questions in the town hall if they got to ask a question. There was organized chants, you know, here we're going to chant, uh, what do we want in health care? What do we want in now? There was an organized effort and the signs were more uh, professionally made with the Acorn folks. They were pre-produced and not the homemade ones. Um, but I talked to one of the organizers for uh, SEIU, mm -hmm. a woman, and she was there as well, and she said, look, we're not, you know, we're making no bones about it. We're here to balance the debate. Problem is, folks at that town hall that are on the conservative side that have questions about the president's health care plan are upset because they feel like they're being drowned out. They lost a seat in there. Uh, quickly, Dana Perino touched on this, the fact that uh, a lot of people think this is about a lot more than health care. I mean, this is a backlash against Washington in a much bigger sense. Without you know, you. earlier this week, uh, uh, Press Secretary Robert Gibbs was dismissing it, saying, well, it's, you know, food for mm -hmm. uh, fodder on, on the cable TV channels. I'm telling you, it would behoove the White House to pay attention to what's happening there, because in the experience I've had this past week going to two of these in Pennsylvania, it's more a referendum, Shannon, on Washington than it is a discussion on health care. They're upset. Everything from cash to clunkers is coming up, deficit spending, uh, you name it, they're asking about it. I, I had numerous uh, questions about czars, mm -hmm. and uh, I asked Senator Specter, you know, about this. What do you think about labeling these town halls angry mobs, or that racism motivates it? And he said, absolutely not mobs, absolutely not racism. These are my guests in my town halls, and I want them to be heard. And i got to say, for the tough questioning that he's taken, he stood up and took it like a man. He's not run away from these town halls, so... He's done a good job, and he's done his job showing up. Well, he has, and, uh, you know, we saw poll numbers uh, released today that he's down a little bit. So he either is a, a politician with thick skin, or he's doing everything he can to uh, get those numbers back Maybe up. Maybe a bit of campaigning as well. Griff Jenkins, thank you.